Now, another place where uh, external influences, environmental influences, play a major role is really in uh, gender development. And uh, there's a couple different angles that we can uh, approach this from. And uh, one of the first ones to consider here, at least, is that gender itself, uh, just to define our terms again, really is a psychological state of, of um, uh, being, of understanding the world, of seeing the world in a particular way uh, as male or female. And, and that uh, is very much a part of what we talk about when we talk about gender. We're not talking about biological an anatomy. We're talking about a psychological male-female state, if you will, and this is uh, uh, um, comes about as a result of socialization. Um, so we can we can um, identify a variety of differences uh, between the genders, while they have similar gender makeup. Um, as well as levels of intelligence, of vocabulary, and happiness, there's significant differences. For example, males and females differ in uh, one of the, some of the major differences here is in terms of body fat. Um, men, oftentimes the um, uh, creation and maintenance of lipid cells, otherwise known as body fat, ceases around 25 years of age. Um, women uh, continue that process through the childbearing years. So body fat is, is one area that there is a significant difference. The other one is just uh, muscle mass. Uh, men are endowed with uh, a greater muscle mass than, than women are. Um, height. Um, is another one that men are typically taller than women. And the last one where women come out way ahead is life expectancy. Um, and, and that's just another difference between the genders themselves. Um, women tend to be more vulnerable to depression, anxiety, eating disorders. Men, on the other hand, are more likely to commit suicide and suffer with alcohol dependence. Um, men are also more likely to be diagnosed with autism, color blindness, ADHD, um, and antisocial personality. So you do you do the math in terms of the the two uh, uh, the two genders, if you will. Um, if we were to put them into categories, women uh, we can put depression and anxiety, um, uh, anxiety. Uh, like I already mentioned, eating disorders uh, typically are uh, primarily female uh, in, or, uh, in origin or in presentation, I should say. Uh, but the interesting thing is that things are changing in our culture today. Um, one of the most well-known eating disorder treatment facilities uh, has just opened a unit for men. So uh, the eating disorder uh, malady has also beginning to move its way into um, men as well. Like I mentioned with men, uh, we can talk about uh, suicide. We can talk about alcohol. Uh, like I said, when we're talking about uh, um, alcohol, E-T-O-H is a, is a good term for alcohol. It's just describing the, the chemical makeup of it. Um, autism, men are, are far and away more likely to be diagnosed autistic. Uh, ADHD uh, is another one that is primarily uh, boys outnumber or girls um, uh, three out of five versus maybe two out of five in girls. Um, and antisocial um, personalities tend to be Far, far and away more likely to be found in men. So there's a variety of, of categories here that are part of that. And the other one that which goes with antisocial is that um, in men, uh, aggression uh, is far more uh, admitted to by men than women. 
Um, so throughout the world themselves, uh, there is a significant gap here uh, between the genders when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, uh, men and women, uh, and that's that's uh, that's across the across the globe. Okay. Um, the other thing, just to, to, to understand, and these terms or these uh, pictures kind of betray it, is that, and I had made mention of that same fact when I was talking about boys growing up and girls growing up, it, is that um, the gamesmanship and how boys play is very different, partly probably attributable to testosterone, which is, is uh, the uh, major hormone in their system. In girls, which is this activity here that talks about is social connectedness, and they define oftentimes their life um, and the quality of their lives by their the quality of their relationships. So those are a few highlights when it comes to genders. Now, I want to turn our attention in the next segment here to um, biological sex and uh, the chromosomes uh, themselves. <laughs> 